Hey everybody, Derek from At Gaming here with another video. First of all, guys, please excuse my poor voice. I've been sick all week long, and uh, you know, luckily it's not COVID, but I am struggling a bit to uh, to talk. But anyway, I'm quite happy today to bring Splinter Cell HD here on the uh, our PCS3 emulator for the PlayStation 3 on the M1 Mac. Now, this is the first game, which is part of the Splinter Cell HD collection, which was released on PlayStation 3. It includes uh, Splinter Cell HD, which we're seeing on screen now, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, and Splinter Cell uh, Pandora Tomorrow. So yeah, these games, you know, they're supposed to have, you know, improved textures, improved uh, frame rate, improved resolution, and whatnot. And talking about frame rate, now this is one of the uh, key parts of this video. I want you guys to know that the game is meant to be played at uh, 60 frames per second. That's part of the remaster. However, the system is having quite a hard time. You know, it struggles to even reach that uh, 60 FPS point. So I decided to cap the frame rate at 30 FPS. And actually, you know, I saw that we can profit of two things here. <laughs> First of all, resources. As you can tell, the system doesn't need to utilize as many resources as it would if it were trying to push the system to reach that 60 FPS. However, having that frame rate capped at 30, well, you know, gives us more headspace just to keep the system running much in a much more smooth manner, right? You guys can see here on screen, the CPU is doing pretty good at 36%. It's not using that much RAM, like overall, the RAM that the uh, emulator is using plus the RAM that my system is using. I still got a few gigabytes free there. And, you know, uh, the second thing you profit from is temperatures. If the system has to try and push, you know, just use all that horsepower to try to hit that 60 FPS point. And, and you know, it's not even reaching it. So that will, that will cause the system to heat up, use more resources, which will then lead us to thermal throttling. And then, you know, just the whole game becomes a mess and the experience in general just becomes a complete mess. So yeah, like, you know, just capping the frame rate at 30 FPS. And, and you know, from in my opinion, um, 30 FPS, a stable frame rate at 30 FPS is much better than trying to play the game, you know, where you have an unstable frame rate. It just gives that overall feeling where the game is lagging. It's not smooth. You know, I really don't enjoy games that don't have that, you know, nice and smooth locked frame rate. You know, like maybe a few drops in frames every now and then isn't going to bother you. But being in some areas at 30, others at 60, others at 45, you know, it gives it's in my opinion it's just a poor way to enjoy a game now regarding the game itself well the game looks you know looks beautiful like they did a really good job here with the textures everything's in hd this is actually a great way to uh, play this game if you haven't already it's a playstation 2 classic i played it back in the day on playstation 2 i enjoyed it a lot if you enjoy the genre well you know and if you haven't actually played this game well you know it's it's a good way to introduce yourself to it to the uh, Splinter Cell series. It's lots of fun. And uh, guys, that, that's actually, that's about it. You know, I, I did record um, 15, well, I recorded, I played like over, I, I did this training mission and then I started the actual, the first mission. But uh, I only recorded like 15 to 20 minutes. I try to keep the videos, you know, just short because I know nobody usually watches the whole video. But uh, yeah, you guys can see here the whole training mission. And uh, yeah, so guys, uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Please feel free to leave any thoughts or feedback in the uh, comment section. And as usual, guys, have a great one. This next door is keypad locked. The man guarding the door has the code to open it, but he's been instructed not to cooperate. Convince him otherwise. Hi there. Hi. You're not going easy on me, are you? 
Not so tight. That hurts. Sir. Two, eight, four, six, nine. It was a pleasure working with you. Likewise. Two, eight, four, six, nine. This next door is retinal scanner locked. These things are cheap and near impossible to hack. Fortunately, it's just a matter of getting the right eyes to the scanner, usually an officer. The gentleman ahead is registered for the scanner. Convince him to open the door for you. should always be a last resort. Invisibility is your best weapon. We've got a network of photocells on your outfit connected to a visibility meter on your opsat. If the meter's at four, you lit up like a Dutch brothel. At zero, you're a ghost's channel. are more fragile, and all you'll need to do to get past them is shoot them. Sometimes the only way to pass a camera will be to stick to existing shadows and time your movement. his body before the patrolling guard finds it. OK. 
Okay now, Fisher. Let's bring in another guard to evaluate your work. Discretion is critical to our operations. Covering up the evidence of your passing through will go a long way towards proving our usefulness in the field. Copy that. The next hallway is the same idea. Have you started yet? Fisher! Holy Christmas, you're at the end. Phenomenal work. Let's move on. That's gotta be him. Yep. Sam Fisher? Let me introduce you to Vernon Wilkes, Jr. Hello. Hey, I've heard crazy things about your work. I hope you don't mind. I told him some of your stories from Kuwait. We're all friends here. Right on. Junior Wilkes is a longtime NSA employee. He'll be your wheels, wings, and weapons. He coordinates transportation and equipment. Great. For sure. Man, you must be itching to get back out in the field, huh? It's all I'm good at. Well, it's all we need. Welcome to the NSA. I'm sure things are going to come together famously. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative, and we're going to have a lot to prove. Right. The two of you will be Third Echelon's first team on the ground. Be ready for it, and do us proud. Welcome to the NSA. The sun's down. Time to go to work. Finding Agent Blaustein is our first priority. We're to locate him through a local NSA contact. I'm on my way. And stay off the streets. There's a heavy cop presence in this town. We don't have Washington's backing if this turns into an incident. Details on your ops. Thank you. 
Don't tell me. Gergen and Zay is inside there. Why would I tell you what you already know? You're gonna have to hurry. Grim's daughter's comparing a Dark Star drone sonar to the warehouse blueprints. She'll be guiding you through. Sam, Grim's daughter here. I say jump. Don't ask how high, just do it. You should get through this fine. There's a room directly 